Hello, my crafty friends. I have a show and tell and then the startings of a new project that I'm working on that I wanted to show you today. Um, this is some washi tape that I ordered off of Amazon and um, it cost like seven dollars I think six ninety eight for the whole package maybe seven ninety eight one or the other I'll put the link in the description box below but I just had to show you this because it's really neat it says that it's forty eight pieces forty eight rolls of washi tape and they're small um, and they're they're very small but uh, what it doesn't tell you well it does later on in the description but um, Put those up. These are the, the actual washi tapes. And you can see they're really tiny. Very cute little. If you do those planner things, then this would definitely be something you would want. Um, because they're so small, you can do all your lines in between things. But um, let me get a regular size washi tape so you can see the difference. This is an average size washi tape. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller. It's even smaller than the, um, well, let me get one of those and show you those too. Okay. These are the other small ones that um, I have. Okay, where's the, there it is. So you can see the difference. Um, Well, let's see if I can get it. Come on, focus. There we go. You can see the difference between the three. Um, so they are real tiny. I'm telling you that because I don't want you to be shocked at how small they are. But um, you've got all these really pretty patterns. This was just one of the rolls. And in between each of those patterns are these that are like, so that the pattern doesn't get messed up when they cut them. You know, they've got a little extra space and they just cut between the. So these are just extra. They just throw them in extra. Um, and I think these are just as cool as the actual ones with the, um, with the patterns. So these are the ones you're paying for and then these are the ones they just throw in. And that's one. Um, let me keep the. Okay, I want to keep them separated, the ones that are really the patterns that you're, you know, actually, um, well, they're kind of getting glary. Anyway, and then those are the extra ones. And I haven't opened this package yet, so I'm going to show you how they come so you can see what I'm talking about when I say they're, um, that they're in between, those little extra bonus ones are in between. Okay, let me just grab. Grab these, okay. So you've got, this is the pattern one, and then this is what's in between that pattern. Oh, that one's not cut good. Haven't had that happen before. Um, and this pattern, see, so you get this little extra washi tape, which I think is adorable. And then between this pattern and this pattern is that one. And between this pattern and this pattern, you have this little one here and the same thing all the way across in between each of the real patterns is the, the little bonus tape. Um, so I'm, 
I'm going to, I misshaped that one when I was taking it apart. So I'm going to put, I put all the, you know, the little extra ones separate from my pattern ones. I don't know if it really matters, but, but once again, here's the pattern and here's the bonus in between. And there's the pattern and the bonus in between. So I'm just keeping them separated because the, the ones that are in between are even skinnier than the other ones. Let me show you that so you can see. It's not a ton smaller, but it definitely is. I was afraid when I saw them that they would be a lot harder to use because they are so small, harder to get off and all that. But, well, I say that and then this one's giving me a hard time. But the one, it's because I wasn't in the right place. These are, these are my bonus ones. These are the real ones. And then not all of them have the bonus ones. See, these don't have the bonus ones in between them. I don't know why some of them do and some of them don't. So you got these stacks over here. I feel like I got a bunch of poker chips or something. These are my bonus ones. And these are the real ones that they come. Um, anyway, I think these are going to be a lot of fun to play with. And because they're skinny, you can do things, you know, put them in places that you couldn't put the bigger washi tapes. So I think that's going to be fun. Um, and then they come with this sticker sheet. I just now realized that's a sticker sheet. <laughs> uh, and here's a little book that gives you some ideas of things you can do with washi tape. So that's not bad for $7. So there's my 48 washi tapes, and then um, here are the bonus ones. So I'm going to get those out of the way because I wanted to show you something else. Oh, where am I going to put them? See, that's the one thing about having a lot of washi tape is you just got to figure out where to put it. in here for now. Okay. Sorry about that. I also wanted to show you this project that I'm going to um, start working on. At the thrift store, I find these all the time. I haven't ever bought them until I bought this one, but this one actually had a leather cover. And so I thought, well, you know, for a dollar at the thrift store, two dollars, one or the other, let's see if it says in here what I paid for it. No, I can't remember if it was a dollar or two dollars, but anyway, um, I've seen these, you know, photo albums, but they always have this, um, where, this plastic. Here's the plastic pieces I took off. Some of these were already missing in this one. And that's what gave me the idea that I could take them off. Um, but they always have these, this plastic thing here. And so I've always looked at them before and thought, I don't know what I could do with that. That plastic's kind of in the way. But then I realized that, um, let me get some scissors. That the plastic is connected or heat sealed or something in between in those two little um, those two little open spaces if 
I can get it off now. And then you, once you cut that plastic from in between, you can um, just slide it off. And then you've got all these pages. And one of the neat things about this book is that it's already got space to grow, see? So all those, um, all those books that we take pages out of so we can build pages inside them, you don't have to do that with this. And, um, but you do have to deal with this little open, open space right here. And one of the things I've decided to do, at least I'm going to, it's my plan for now, and I'll just do one for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to cover these pages with this old um, music paper that I've got that is pretty much falling apart. Um, I think some of them, they're 25 cent books, so they're, they're old. I thought I had, and I've got a, a stack of them here. I thought somewhere I had seen copyright dates or something on them, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to, let me get my cutter. I'm going to trim the page just to, so I won't have to deal with this um, stuff that's coming off on the sides because that would be really um, difficult to work with. But I don't want to, you know, waste a lot of it. So I'm going to cut that off. And then I can put this in here and I can trim off where it's damaged. take that off um, let's do it this way Once again, cut off the damaged part. Well, I got that crooked somehow. So then I've got this nice um, piece of music paper. Now this one, you know, is damaged so much. If I cut all that off, it doesn't actually completely fit. Um, so I have to decide, do I want, you know, want it to be, um, I think for this one, I'm just going to glue it in like that. I don't know. I didn't think, it, I didn't realize, it seemed like, <laughs> that I was going to have plenty of room when I cut off the damaged edges. And then I didn't. So, all right, let's put that one aside. And um, let's try something different move these out of the way. I'm going to come up with something to do with those. I may cut them down to put ATCs in or something. I don't know. But, you know, it would be wrong to throw them away. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think what I'm going to do instead then is just put this yes paste all over this page. And stick that down and um, see if it'll go this way. Yeah, it will. And then I'll cut off the edges around the outside afterwards. 
That's not quite big enough. Let's put this in there instead. That'll do a good job. Okay. And this is a brand new jar. I've never used this before. I've seen people use it and they seem to love it. So I decided I found it. Um, marked down. I don't remember where. It was one of those things. Um, I want to say it may have been on Amazon, but it was like during the holidays or something. And I decided I would, I would just try it since it was marked down, you know, can't resist a bargain. See if this is going to work here. I'll take the music here and I'm going to put it. Hmm. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and do it right there, even though that side's a little bit damaged. I wasn't realizing, but it's probably would be a good idea to stick another book inside so that it'll be, um, put this under here so you can, well, that's still not enough. <laughs> okay. Let's stick this one under there too. Okay, now I can press down and a little bit of glue going on this side, but um. I'm going to glue some paper down on that side too, so I'm not going to worry about that. Right now, I just want to get this stuck down good enough that I can cut off the extra music paper. And If you have uh, better ideas of how to do this, um, please tell me. Because I want, um, I'm always up for ideas. I'm just going to Well, so far it seems to well I say that see as soon as I say something's working good then <laughs> something happens I must be kin to Murphy, I guess. So it's called Everything's Great Until It's Not. Until you say it's good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that for now. We'll cut that off in a minute. Um, let it dry a little more first, and then I'll work on that. Okay, and this is what our page looks like. So that's kind of where the what the background is going to look like um, for this book. When I don't know what I'm going to put in it, 
but I'm kind of liking that um, that for background pages and I've got you know a lot of this music paper I don't know if it's enough to do the whole book or not front and back of each page but um, also you know gluing the paper down on there um, will make it you know each page a little stronger so anyway that's that's where, what I'm planning to do um, with this book and then I have some stuff that was some letters and things that were my grandmother's and I'm thinking about um, I've been wanting to make a journal with pictures and stuff of her and my grandfather and I thought um, this might be a good place to put that and you know this old music um, would have been you know during her young years this is you know what um, this w this music was produced during her young years so I'm trying to think of what year she was born my dad was born in 33 and she was 18 years old I can't even do math at the moment good grief Lisa oh if you take 10 off that would be 23 and take 8 off so 25 I mean 15 so I guess 1915 is when she was born and I think these are um, from the 1920s so I think I've got a, the right idea about that being you know during her young adulthood um, anyway that's my plan that's what I'm planning to do with this book and like I said if you have any other ideas um, of you know what to do for the pages or how to make them glue down easier than this let me know um, I'd love your ideas and your comments but mainly I just wanted you to see that you can go to the thrift store and find one of these and you can actually use it for something it's it's built perfectly you know to be an art journal it just needs a little extra TLC to make it happen so um, there's my idea for the day bless you all bye bye